Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new assistive touch features in the iOS 5 Beta 3 and what you can do with them. So basically these features are if you have a broken component of your device, let's say your home button or maybe accelerometer, or if you need accessibility help. So to activate these features, first you're going to go into settings, and from there you're going to scroll down, and then you're going to tap on accessibility. And there's quite a few options in the accessibility menu, but we're going to focus on assistive touch. From here we're just going to turn assistive touch on. Now I've noticed that it's a little bit buggy uh, in that it takes probably a good two to three minutes to start up on my device. I don't know if that's uh, you know a speed performance issue, it really shouldn't be, um, or if it's just an issue with the iOS 5 Beta 3. But I noticed it takes a while to show up, so I'm just going to come back once it's shown up. Now here you can see the assistive touch features have started up and as default you'll see this little box in the bottom right hand corner. And it sits right there but you can move it around. You can move it to six individual locations on your home screen um, in, the, in the corners as well as in the middle and then across the top as well. Uh, for this demo we're just going to set it over on this side right here. So you can see the assistive touch button right here and when I tap on it you're going to see this menu come up right in the middle of the screen. You have a couple different options here. Uh, first of all let's go into the device menu. If I touch screen rotation you're going to see a couple different options. Uh, right now it's in portrait mode so if I touch that nothing happens. But if I touch right the entire iPad will rotate right and I can do upside down as well as left and then bring it back to portrait if I want to, so that's nice. And then if you want to get back from there you can just tap the center of the little box and it'll go back. And then from here I can also mute and unmute the iPad. Uh, so I can just touch it and it'll switch between. And I can also simulate a shake gesture by just touching this. And then I can change the volume up and volume down just by tapping these two buttons here. So that's neat. Uh, let's see if your volume buttons are broken. You know, that, that could come in handy. And then this is a really neat one. You can tap lock screen and it will instantly lock your iPad screen. So then once you're done in that menu, of course you can tap the center again to go back out. And then this is neat. Uh, if your home button's broken, and that's a pretty common thing on iOS devices as they start to age, you can just hit home right here and it'll take you right back home. Uh, so it just simulates a home button press. Now the last couple menus here are for gestures and there's quite a few of them. So if I tap gestures, you're going to see two, three, four, and five finger gestures. So these gestures are more specifically application based than anything and I haven't personally found a use for them yet. For example, I'm not quite sure of any applications that use a five finger gesture although I know that there are some uh, multi-touch gestures in iOS 5 that let you return to the home screen uh, using a five finger gesture but that's not present on the original iPad which I'm using so I wasn't able to test that out. But what you do is you just tap on the gesture and on the screen you're going to see the number of uh, fingers that you would, you know, the gesture, and you can move the gesture around to use it. A better example of this is in Safari. If I go under the favorites menu, you can see there's a couple of favorite gestures in here. Pinch and swipe were the two default ones, and I added five finger pinch, and I'll show you in just a second how to do that. So if I tap pinch, you can see on the screen I have a little pinch to zoom menu here. So I can take this bar and I can drag it in and out to zoom in and out of the page just like that. And I guess if you have trouble with the gestures this is probably a handy thing to use instead of the pinch to zoom. And you can also do swipe which uh, when I tap on it nothing happens. Once again this could be something with the beta I'm not sure. Uh, but what you can do is you can hit one of these plus buttons here and it will launch you right back into settings. And in settings here you can see you can create a custom gesture. So let's say I want a two finger swipe uh, I can do a two finger swipe. Uh, it's a little bit laggy in the beta, uh, but you can see that would work. And then down at the bottom I can save or reset that gesture. And I'll just call it two swipe and I can hit save. And now when I go back into my gesture menu and I go under favorites, you can see that two swipe is present and if I touch it, uh, there's the two finger gesture that I made. This gesture comes in handy if you want to swipe across the pages of your home screen. As I can take it from here and I can just drag it across the screen and it will hopefully simulate a page turn gesture for me right there. So that's pretty neat. And that is how you use the new assistive touch features in iOS 5 Beta 3. And I'm sure they'll have worked out the bugs by the time the actual 
iOS 5 build comes out. But for now, it's a really cool addition, and I hope to see them implemented further in the future. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.